And we show you Brett because we are pleased to be joined now by Brett's sister, Danielle Lori. And Danielle, <laughs> you've got to be thrilled with what's taken place so far in this game. I am at a loss for words. I uh, just the whole trip getting getting here last night. It it's amazing. And I I tweeted a couple days ago, a proud sister, and I cried. And <laughs> this is amazing. So. Tell us about that day. Tell us about when, it, when Brett called you when he found out the, he was coming to the big leagues. I, I got a voicemail because I was actually in Calgary, so I had my phone off, but my parents had called my hotel room, and I instantly started crying. And I, I can tell with the tone of voice that my dad was at a big high. And when he's happy, I mean, I just, my heart was so happy for my family. And it, I really am so proud of my brother, and I'm so proud of how hard he's worked to come back from that injury. There's just so many things that he's he's had to, you know, go through this this season and look where he is now and I could not be prouder. Well, Brett Laurie will bat with two outs and Daniel Laurie is in the booth with us and we'll have an idea of I mean you've seen him hit a thousand times. Yeah. And he looks as comfortable and natural as if he were playing back home in Langley. And he's got a good group of guys that are helping him. You know, you have John McDonald and JP, and they're making him feel comfortable. And that's what he needs at 21 years old. He needs that from, from those older veteran guys. I think one thing, too, that's going on is there's a core of young players now. Brett's here. Eric Thames is here. We've got veterans like John McDonald to be their mentors. But all of a sudden, it's becoming a very young team, and that core is going to grow together. Mm-hmm. You've got uh, Kobe Rasmus is just 24 years old, a center fielder they just picked up from St. Louis. So he's in a good spot here. And the one thing that I've noticed, he he looks very calm, very confident at the plate. Yeah, he gosh, he looks great. <laughs> <laughs> How about his first big league home run now while you're on the air? Wouldn't that be something? That would be great. I'm going to knock on wood, knock on wood right now. <laughs> <laughs> one and two, two outs. Troy Patton in relief last inning. How about the relationship that Brett has with JP? I know they live together along with Travis Snyder, but how has that helped him? And obviously this is one of the guys that they're counting on a lot for the future. Yeah, um, I try to keep in contact a little bit with JP and just, you know, let him know, hey, help Brett out a little bit. And he's so good about it. And I know that him and Brett went for breakfast this morning, and JP told me that he was just up and down, couldn't sit still, and Brett is just so excited. And uh, now he gets called out there, but I can't tell you how much we appreciate your time, Danielle. Thank you. Good luck to you and your family, especially your brother, and uh, always great to see you, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot of you. Thank you guys so much for having me.